is working to cash in on one of President Donald Trump's campaign promises in a big way. He has submitted a proposal to build Trump's proposed border wall with Mexico, and he says it'll pay for itself. 13 Action News anchor Christopher King is live in North Las Vegas to explain how. Christopher. Trisha, take a look at this. It's a wall made of solar panels. They generate energy. Now, the company that supplies them says put them along the border with Mexico and they can generate enough power to pay for themselves. <laughs> Candidate Donald Trump promised to build a wall along the Mexican border. President Trump insists he'll get it done. We will build a great wall along the southern border. Thomas Gleason says he is just the man to build it. I want to be one of them. He heads up Gleason Partners, a construction material supply company based in North Las Vegas. If I don't do it, who's going to do it? The U.S. border with Mexico runs about 2,000 miles long. The controversial wall would cost up to an estimated $15 billion. During the campaign, Trump declared he'd make our neighbors to the south cover the cost. And Mexico will pay for the wall. President Trump now says American taxpayers would foot the bill, at least at first. Gleason says if his company and his joint venture partner, Jay Rannick, build the wall, it won't matter who shells out the money. If it's going to pay for itself. The $15 billion question is how? The wall is made of the solar panels. That's right, a wall of solar panels that could be used to generate energy to power American cities. Energy, Gleason says, that could be sold to Mexico. Do you think it's going to get built? Yes. Now, Gleason has already submitted a proposal to the feds. He estimates his solar wall will cost about uh, $7 million per mile. Multiply that by about 2,000 miles. That brings the cost up to about $14 billion. Now, Gleason says it wouldn't cost that much because he says he only wants to build a portion of the wall. We're live. Christopher King, 13 Action News. Thank you, Christopher.